today we're going to talk about priming a Mach 5. Uh, it's uh, something that is often discussed and, and sometimes not done the correct way. Uh, first of all, you have to make sure you have a good installation, which if you've just run out of water and the pump has been working fine in the past, the installation very well could be okay. The important thing about priming the Mach 5 is to remember that this is a high flow rate pump. And if you have some air caught in it, you need a high flow rate, even if it's for just a few seconds, to uh, allow the pump to eject air. So this is accomplished by, if the pump is on, turn it off. This pump is already turned off. After you turn the pump off, you open at least two or three faucets on the boat and let the pressure go away. Just let it run until there's no pressure on the system or until your gauge says zero. When you turn on the pump like this, you're going to get a high flow rate instantly, and if there's any air caught in the pump, it'll eject it. Of course, I want to remind you, you have to do this with a full water tank. That's something to always remember. Okay, once you have no water pressure in the system and, and uh, the tank is full and you're ready to go. Basically, all you do is turn the pump on. Now, this pump has a switch underneath here that I'm going to turn on. And that starts the pump. As you can see, as soon as the pump starts, it goes wide open. If you have several faucets open, this will allow the air in the pump to be adjusted. Now you don't have to let them run for a long time and usually the amount of time it takes you to leave the pump and go close the faucets is an adequate amount of time. Now it's normal, it's normal for the pump to run about 15 seconds before it turns off, which it just turned off. This is how this pump behaves. It has a flow meter in it and when it sees no flow for 15 seconds it turns off. So we have just essentially primed the uh, system on this display here. 